So when it comes to weight loss, a lot of people think they have to do super hardcore workouts and really sweat it out in the gym and do tons of cardio in order to lose the weight and actually keep it off. And while I do love a good, heavy, sweaty weightlifting workout, and it's been really helpful for my weight loss journey and my own self-confidence, Plain old, simple, boring walking can be very beneficial as well. Plus, it's also great for your overall health, even if you're not trying to lose weight. So let's take a look at walking and how you can and probably should be adding that into your daily routine. So let's get started. So we should probably start out by talking about how you really just can't outwalk, outlift, or outrun a bad diet. If you consume more calories than you burn in a day, you're gonna gain weight. And in order to lose that weight, you need to be burning more calories in a day than you're in consuming. And that's called a calorie deficit. And a good target for losing weight would have about a 500 calorie deficit each day. But the problem that a lot of us have is that we try to overdo it, we restrict too much, and then your body does another problem where you start doing a yo-yo diet. And it's just this endless cycle of gaining weight and losing weight because you're not finding a sustainable lifestyle that works for you, that you can do forever, that loses the weight and then keeps it off. So there's a few ways to do this. You can reduce your diet or you can increase your activity, burn more calories in the day, or you can do a combination of both, which will improve and increase that calorie deficit. All right, so let's take a look at the science. There's a trial published in 2017 where a group of participants were following a calorie deficit diet and they did this moderate walk five days a week. Just doing that decreased weight, decreased body fat percentage, and lower levels of insulin and cholesterol in the blood. And that all meant that they were also at a lower risk for cardiovascular disease and insulin resistance. And in fact, the ones who actually continue to keep walking about 30 minutes a day, five days a week, they were able to lose that weight initially and keep it off, thus destroying that yo-yo dieting problem that we were just talking about. And interestingly enough, participants who were walking the four to six hours in a week, they wound up not having the same good results. And they attributed that to the fact that those who were doing the longer walks were actually less consistent in getting that done every day. And you know, moderation and consistency is really the key to weight loss success. And if you see my video on the cleanish movement, you know all about it. And if you haven't, you should totally check out that video. I'll link to it below for you. You know, if you can't find 30 minutes in a day to consistently walk every day, that's not a problem. So interestingly enough, hitting approximately 10,000 steps in a day and then having actual 3,500 of those 10,000 steps being 10 to 15 minutes of actively walking enhanced long-term weight loss. And so what that means is that you can basically have brisk 10 minute walks in a day, get those 3,500 steps in, but overall make sure that you're moving enough to reach about 10,000 steps and you're gonna be successful. And if you need some help hitting that, you can check out my video on how many steps do I need to lose weight because that kind of helps you understand where the barriers are for weight loss and what you need to be doing in order to improve your chances of being successful. Okay, so now that we've talked about the importance of walking and how very beneficial that can be, I also wanna talk a little bit about resistance training. Adding in just even 10 minutes of resistance training can have a ton of benefits. Whether that's in the form of weight training, body weight exercises, resistance band workouts, or even body conditioning workouts like Pilates or yoga. Those will actually have a really cool benefit of increased metabolism for longer after the event. Not to mention that it's also gonna help you improve your muscle mass, your strength, your posture, your overall mood and flexibility and confidence and just your general overall lifestyle because resistance training is awesome. So it's not a total necessity, but it's a great addition for sure as part of an overall healthy, cleanish lifestyle. And if you need some help getting started and having some support, I have a 30-day healthy program that you can check out where I send a daily email to you and give you a ton of information and support. And go take a walk to get those steps in today and I will see you in the next video.